Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm coming to you with a Ulta haul. Um, Ulta likes to kind of piggyback, I guess, a little bit on Sephora. And so right before the Sephora VIB sale started, they sent out 20% off coupons. And um, a lot of times when they do that, it's just for like the drugstore side of the house. It doesn't include, you know, your prestige makeup brands, but this time it included everything, including um, fragrance, which it doesn't always do that either. So, I made a big Ulta haul. Yes, I did. Um, I'm not ashamed. Um, I did plan on doing this when I started my no buy when I got an Ulta 20% off discount to make purchases. The last one that I got, I think it was, was it February? The end of January, the first of February, and I didn't use that one because I had just started my no buy and I didn't, just wasn't ready to make any purchases. But anyway, today I made some purchases, or yesterday, I guess I should say. I did go in store and purchase and then my daughter had gotten a 20% off coupon also. And there was a few things that were online only that I had her order for me because unfortunately with this Sephora, not the Sephora, the Ulta coupon, you can only use it once, whereas the Sephora coupon, you can use it multiple times during the time that it's good for. But anyway, so. Uh, let's get started. I just purchased some more of my cotton rounds. I was completely out, so this was definitely a repurchase that I needed. I like the um, the exfoliating ones the best, and I got um, four of these in this pack I've already started using. Um, I have a little container in my bathroom that I put those in, so, so I did get those in store. Um, Another product that I bought in store was this here, and this was on clearance. It's from Lorac, and it was normally $30, and it was marked down to $14.97, and then the extra 20% off, and it's three eye pencil sets, and it's from the Tantango collection, but I thought this was really pretty for going into um, summer. It has a gold like a mauve looking color and a teal blue in there. So I did get that. And the reason why I got that was specifically to go with this next thing that I'm gonna show you. Um, if you have watched my fell for the packaging tag video, you're gonna understand why I bought this. Oh, I got the Pirates of the Caribbean eyeshadow palette from Lorac. It's so pretty. I'm not really okay. Yes, I do like pirates. I'm, I was gonna say I'm not really that you know into the packaging. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Yes, I am. I like it, um, but more importantly, the the product in store seemed to swatch very nicely, and it was the colors. I know I will wear, and um, yeah. And then this is what it looks like here out of the box. I guess that is a, um, what is that thing called? A compass. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. It did come with a an eyeliner. It seems kind of odd that it had an eyeliner in this big spot right there. Is this supposed to have something else there? To look at that. Is this supposed to be something else? I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. But anyway, there's what it looks like. Just very, very stunning and pretty. But the the um, eyeliners that are in that that I just showed you are going to go perfect with this color here, and with the gold and the greens. And oh, it's just so pretty, so pretty. It also has here on the side a little secret compartment that will house the next product that I'm going to show you. And that is this guy right here. 
and this is the um, the cheek palette the Pirates of the Caribbean dead men till tell no tales cheek palette and um, it is out of the package because I actually have it on and I did create all of the glow that you see the cheek color and my eye look with this palette because when I seen that I thought I could do eyes with that too so that is what it looks like right there I mean it is just beautiful so pretty and it blended very well it went on great and I just think it's beautiful I loved it and um, I don't know I don't know what sucked me in on this one but I just when I seen it in person I thought oh that is so pretty anyway that little palette right there just goes boop, and you got a little secret pocket you can carry the whole thing together so it's going to be great for travel and I think actually my husband and I are going on a trip this weekend we bought a used motorhome and um, we're taking it out on its maiden voyage this weekend so I think I'm going to take this whole kit with me on that trip anyway okay also in store I found this product here from Algenist it's for targeted deep wrinkle mimonizer and it was on clearance um, it's formulated with um, algoronic acid I've not heard anything about it um, it's on clearance so I don't know if that means it's just if it's being discontinued but uh, I wanted to use it for these really deep wrinkles right in here so we'll see if that if that does any any kind of um, help with that. I also did get on Clarence a nail file. This was from the Spring Fling uh, little collection that they had, and it has a little buffer and a nail file in it. I haven't been getting my my nails done at the salon um, because this finger here I don't know it's kind of it has something on it, and I'm beginning to think because my nail is messed up now where it wasn't it's like it's smashed on this side and it never has been like that and when I took my acrylics off this last time that's what it did and I'm thinking that this is a fungus so I haven't been back to the nail salon um, for that reason and I'm treating it as a fungus for now and I'm gonna give it a couple more weeks this has been on here for quite some time since back before Christmas and if that doesn't work then I'm going to go to the dermatologist and see what the deal is with my my finger that looks like it has it looks like it's got two warts on it and I, I don't know I don't know what that is anyway one doctor told me to poke it with a needle and so I did that and you've probably seen one video where it was all infected and everything from me poking it with a needle so I'm not going to do that again and then I got um, a backup or another one of my Argan Oil. This is the InShower Oil. I talked about this in a favorites video. I really do like this. Um, swear by it, especially if you don't like lotion like me. Um, this is a good product to have to help with moisturization. Okay, and then what I had my daughter order for me online um, was some of these masks. Um, they are... The BioBell Hashtag Primer is a primer mask. Um, you're supposed to put this on your face before you do makeup. Put it on for five minutes and then you rinse off the product and it's supposed to prime your face for makeup. So I thought that was kind of interesting. It's supposed to enhance radiance, minimize pores, even skin tone. Prep the skin for a flawless makeup application. And it has tea tree oil, rosehip extract, and vitamin C in it. So I thought I would give that a try. So I had her order those two. And then these two lip glosses from Urban Decay, they were on clearance for $11, I think. And then you got another 20% off. So that made them very reasonable in price. And like I said before, for whatever reason, I've never liked lip glosses, but here lately, that's all I want to wear is lip gloss. I have a lip gloss on today, um, a Next haul from Sephora. Anyway, this is this one. Um, I'm going to tell you what the color is, but I can't read it on the packaging. I can't make it out. It looks like it says Missy something. I'll put it, I'll put it down in here somewhere what it is. I'll look on the order and I can't tell what it's called. 
I just got it because of the color. I thought the color was really, really pretty. And that's the color there. And it is a little bit of a metallic look, I think. So, got that one. And then this other one. This one turned out to be a little bit oranger than what I thought it was going to be. This one's called Punch Drunk. I could read that one. That other one, I couldn't make it out. It said Missy something is what it looked like to be. But anyway, this one looks pretty orange. It's a lot oranger looking in person than it was on the website. But, um... I've already tried it and it looks really pretty over a nude lip liner and it kind of that nude lip liner kind of mutes it down just a tad bit so those were the lip liners that I got and that is it for my Ulta haul um, yeah there is stuff in here that I didn't need um, probably the majority of it but anyway um, I should have just stuck with the cotton balls and my oil but I'm human I like to shop and I think I've been doing really good so 20% off sale I wanted to take advantage of that anyway I could sit here all day and tell you excuses but I'm not going to do that it is what it is and I purchased I think the products that I got are beautiful I really like this shine right here on my cheeks and um, I hope that you enjoyed this haul and that you will subscribe give me a thumbs up also click on that little bell icon so that you're notified of future videos that I'll be doing um, and you can be um, looking for a Sephora VIB haul here pretty soon um, so there you have it thank you so much I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon bye